Hello, I'm Giles Darling and I write novels, plays and non-fiction books. In this video I read out loud a short story or text that I wrote as homework for a writing group that I go to. If you're interested, there's more information in this video's description below. But first, please feel free to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just a couple of clicks, it costs nothing and it's free. Also, when you've finished watching this video, please check out the rest of my channel especially where I talk about the various books that I've written. I hope my channel encourages you to buy my books, available on Amazon, see the link below, and to read them if you haven't already done so. What's more, every so often, the ebook versions can be downloaded for free. Now let's get back to the video. On this occasion, the prompt was write something containing the words glowing plop. This is what I wrote. Seeing how the world's going to end, a boy glances down as he sidles up to a girl. How would you... Forgetting your homework isn't the end of the world, the girl backs away. Haven't you seen the news? The boy, finally making eye contact, points at his phone. My phone broke at the weekend. The girl peers at the phone's screen with the words surprise apocalyptic meteor strike this afternoon emblazoned across it. Is this a joke? She shakes her head. If it were true, everyone would be freaking out. She points at the rest of the canteen, but students are stripping off their clothes and engaging in a debauched orgy of teenage fueled lust. Let's get out of here, she hurries outside. Can I have my phone back? The boy follows her. What's the meteor made of? The girl studies the phone closely. Phosphorus, the boy reaches out a shaking hand to touch her shoulder, but I don't care. And it's landing right here at our school. The girl looks up just as the boy leans forward with puckered lips. From overhead comes a whizzing sound as a tiny rock lands in the grass nearby with a glowing plop. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I always have fun planning and writing them. What would you have written if faced with the same prompt? Is there anything you would have changed or added, bearing in mind the limited word count? If so, please feel free to add your comments below. Also, if you like my writing style, perhaps you'd enjoy reading my novels and plays too. They are often similar in tone. Before you go, please don't forget to like and subscribe this video on my YouTube channel and to buy and read my books, available on Amazon, see the link below if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.